Hi there, and welcome to week two of the Orkney Bowl. Sorry about the mix up with the first one there. I actually hit the wrong button as these things happen, especially when you're old and surprised the Giants won a game this year. It's very. I'd like to welcome Craig to the show. Hi, Craig. Good evening, everyone. How are you, Johnny? I'm okay, thanks. Yeah, it was just. I was a bit tired last night, so we thought we'd go for the night instead before we go back to work in the morning. Yeah, uh, quite so, right, why not? So the first order of business, the very, very, very first trade in Orkney Bowl history, and I do have the right name this time, Birmingham <laughs> Giants, not the other one. But then uh, that's what happens when you rush after work, getting ready for a Saturday night podcast. But Indeed, yeah, that's... So, so yeah, that's have the right one this now. is massive trade really isn't it um when was this one done was this done today was it this was done on saturday saturday yeah i would have thought it might have been done on saturday because uh i I think it might not go ahead today if that was the case you know nico Mm -hmm. collins after the weekend he had i know what is yeah he was a sleeper and a lot of people and he started off brilliant he started off real good Uh, i mean <clears throat> Michael Pittman going the other way. It's um, that Pittman could do very well this year, you know. I'd provided obviously uh, Richardson stays in, and you know it said uh, they'll start quite well together. But I do love Rashawn Johnson, you know I do. And uh, Kelly, Kelly will be a non-factor once uh, Eckler comes back, no doubt. But yeah, I think that's a, it's, it's a good trade. Uh, I, I like this trade, and um, I think Birmingham Giants will. Maybe just about nicked the better of it, to be honest with you, and that's uh, due to volume more than anything else. Well, that's it. And Nico Collins is getting the points. Pittman had an okay game last week. As like I say, Johnson would be more later on in the season. Kelly did better when Eckler was in. He did, he did. didn't he? It was. So, uh, he's obviously more of a change of back pace, uh, change of pace back instead of a. Out I think that was one, more, so. more to do with the D he was facing, though. Mm. I mean, that's a tight. Uh, Tennessee D against the run, you know, they do stop the run well. Well, you just thought that was San Francisco, then William ran all over. So. Well, true. But, um, but yeah, no, very good trade. Uh, I think it's, uh, as I say, I think Birmingham Giants will, will come out on top on that one, but only just because I do like Michael Pittman this year. I think he, he could have a good year as well. Well, nobody else can catch a ball on that team apart from a couple of tight ends. So, Well, that's exactly what's. <laughs> But well, that all depends on Richardson if he's out with concussion or not after that hit. Yeah, well, I mean, he's, he's all, they're already talking about him. You know, he's only questionable for this week. Even if he misses one week, he'll only be missing one. And see, to be honest with you, I'm not sure that will throw it that much, given the fact that Minshew's coming in. You know, I mean, Minshew can throw a ball. It's, that, that's not right. a problem there, you know. Oh, I, he, I, like, he likes to spread it about, Minshew does like. So, probably yeah. shoot him better, to be honest. So Anyway, so the next one is... Uh, a trade that is pending. It won't clear till tomorrow. So it's uh, the set in the same division, in the same league as well. Yes. So um, DeAndre Swift. Well, <coughs> I am so dead against DeAndre Swift this year, but you know, Last numbers week. talk. Yeah, numbers talk. You know, and uh, Drake London. You know, he's got a. You know, he, he's an elite receiver. He's got it. He's got to come good. And the fabs yeah, now. Yeah. The, the fab means means very little, and I, I think anyway. To you know, if I spent four hundred, I minded that this week, but we'll talk about that later, I'm sure. Um, and then uh, yeah, Pork's getting the Gus bus. He's on the choo choo train. He's on the Gus bus. Well, he's, um, he's only he's only fit running back there at the moment because uh, I think Hill's done his toe, so he might miss this week. Yeah, you have to ask yourself for how long, though, because uh, he's, 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 he's not got a history of being fit as the Gus bus, has he? And, um, no. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's given away... L- L- if, we t- if we split it up one at a time, forget the fab, and, and you say, well, oh, you know, Swift and Gus Edwards, to be honest with you, at this moment in time, I'd probably take Gus Edwards, given the fact, as you say, he's the only fit running back there. And I'm not a fan of Swift, and I think it's... Uh, but when Gainwell comes back, he'll then... T- be slotted back in there again, I think. But Swift yeah, has yeah. made a very good case for himself. And uh, Puka, Puka will have his good weeks, but he'll have his quiet weeks. Drake yeah. London already yeah. had a couple of quiet weeks, but I mean, he's a target. He's going to get, he, he's an elite receiver. Just about his quarterback is a problem. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'd, but then when, when Gwen Cut comes back, Puka will be the number two, but he'll still get the targets because Wood's got the targets when they have. And he's about 
20 targets he got against San Francisco. Yeah, but that's it's if Cup comes back, you know. Well, if, if it, not, he's got it. It's an even better joke. He's, he's had the most targets, but f- he's had the most targets in two games for a rookie in the history of the NFL, I believe. Yeah, 20. Yeah, he passed that. He, he was. He yeah, was tied for it, and he was, and he, he did get in at least one more because he got six. He tied for it at sixteen. So yeah, so I mean, yeah, Puka's uh, he's a good pickup. But I'm looking at the bigger pick, looking at the the fact that it's a marathon, not a sprint. I think Drake London will do better than Puka down the down the road. I think Gus Edwards will do better than Swift if he stays fit. Cool. So it's one of those ones. It's. Uh, it, it, I think that Wales Wales will come out very much on top because I think the Gus Bus will go down injured. And as you say, when Cup comes back, if Cup comes back, Puka will start slipping a little bit and he will have his quiet weeks as well. It's not going to all be like that. Whereas no, Drake will come He'll be knackered halfway through, but like you say, Drake London's not many catches. So. No, he hasn't. Um, but he's elite, John. <clears throat> he's elite, you know. Oh yeah, it's like you know, the it's problem like, is it, the problem isn't break London. The problem is the Ritter, But um, you, you've got to think the more he plays, the more he's going to come into a game. You know. And, well, it depends. I mean, if they're coming close games, they're just going to run it. Well, that's, that's yeah. That, that, do, so. They're not going to have. You know, they're going to they're going to be getting blown out from time to time. I mean, to beat us there, it, it was a tight one, and that that's a the problem. They can run it to death. But you go for kind of you get fourteen, seventeen up on them. They've got to start throwing it. That's when. You know, I that that's when they sink or swim. Yeah, and the next one is for this week's thing, but it, was, it deserved an honourable mention for the Whitchurch Warriors. Dave Henderson scoring three hundred twenty-three point nine points this week. First one over three hundred, eh? Look at the team, though. Oh, they yeah. flipping now, man. The bench was bad as well. Had Daniel Jones on the bench at forty-four points. Ah, uh, yeah, and they had uh, Cray Walker on the bench, thirty-two yeah. points. He was. He played well. So it was, uh, yeah, and you know, it's <coughs> points on the bench there left over. Yeah, very good start for White White Chucks Warriors. I take it White Chucks Warriors. I take it they uh, that's M two and now. I take it they one week one. We'll find out I'm, when we get I'm, there. But I'm yeah. pretty sure they did. But yeah, I thought that deserves that. That's like that'll be team of the season. I'd be surprised if anybody beats that. To be honest, three two three that's, point that's, nine. That's what you think, almost getting the perfect lineup. Yeah, yeah. George. It's certainly, yeah. certainly, certainly some school, a heck of a score, that's for sure. I'm certainly glad I didn't come up against that one. But... No, we'll find out who did in a minute. <laughs> yeah, so here we go. So we'll go to the Magnus Division. So this on. is uh, your division, Johnny. Do you want to talk about your game or are you still hurting? Oh, I'm, I'm just hoping that the the points correction tomorrow comes through and gives me like 0.5 points to win the game. Because well, that's all I really needed. But, yeah, it'll, so be quite, it'll be quite harsh on uh, your opponent if it does. I'm not going to lie. It'll be quite harsh on Stoke on Bengals if that happens because... Um, I don't know, but I, 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 would, I would still laugh though. But yeah. <laughs> but that's, you know, that's another close one too, to be honest with yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's quite a few close ones kicking about this week. But yeah, Brees Hall's killed you there, hasn't he? Yes, so uh, every saw one point three oh that's uh, that's what's killed you there really your defence has done well your quarterback's done you, you picked right who would have thought picking uh, uh, not taking the forty one point Kirk Cousins would be the right choice well I know I'm raging after he's got forty one points the night before and I was like I can't believe I left him on the bench yeah, yeah it's, 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 this is a problem you're going to have all season long with three quarterbacks I know I well Carr's think Carr's gone now Adam on the waivers. But yeah, oh, Jones yeah. on your bed. Jones not playing. Oh, oh you've got rid. Oh, you've got rid of. You've got rid of Cam. You've got rid of Mitchell as well. And Schultz. Oh, you, oh yeah. You were very busy in the agency this week, aren't you? You're you're on the yeah, running back trail. Yeah, so on the running back trail. Yeah, you need to replace uh, Barkley. <laughs> if if Hill's, if Hill's got a wee bit of a, a ouch as well, eh? Well, that's it. And Jones could be. Uh, he could be out again. There's no timeline when he's back. I think Hall will be better this week. He was playing again. They were, they were just, they weren't going to get anything against that defense. I think they just didn't want to get them get worse. No, I think so, and I think Jones will be back as well. Jo- Jones will be back this week. I think. I don't think he's, uh, he, he's in any major trouble. But uh, yeah, good one for Stoke. I know. Stoke, it's a... it's uh, two, two at quarterback. 
done okay, but um, Paul Arden Stevenson have really came on from uh, well the hell the the hell uh, <coughs> yeah stack that's going to be huge all season long I think definitely and Diggs was under bro but he's still do well Godwin your pal yeah and he's got um, Bucks on the bench there to, who done quite well too you know so yeah. Not and not too shabby at all. Good good start for Stoke at two and And who okay. else have we got in the division at two and So you've got three two and So you've got uh, Stoke on Bengals, Leeds, Lassos, and the Whitworth Rock Stars are all sitting on two and And you've got five teams on one and one. So then three. Oh no, sorry, six. So it's six six on three on two and six on one and one, and three on on two. So it's a bit of a it's a bit of a long way now for gaming teacher Batch and Baxter O. Poor old Baxter O down at the bottom there, 349 points scored. Yeah. He's got Kelsey back now, so. He's got Kelsey yeah. back, yeah, but it's another bit of a beat. And, uh, Rotherham Raiders, uh, that was a, a, a nice wee six point one for them as well against Plymouth or Guy O'Browns. Yeah, I've got I've got Plymouth, but he had Chubb. Ah, yeah, he, he's, he's been shopping today. Did he get anybody? Uh, Chubbs, uh, okay. Chubbs, just that, that's an unfortunate. Isn't it? I'm, I'm actually quite, ha- I'm quite happy with that one. If he does sign for the Browns, to be honest, he has so, signed for the Browns, Johnny. He's already done know. so. So yeah, I've, I've got Ren- I've got Reynolds just in case he is basically do bugger up with Gibbs and keeps on playing. Yeah, well, yeah, Montgomery's not that bad. Montgomery should be back. But two, two- so that's Doug got two two Atwell and Puka Nukau. Oh, well, has he? So Puka. he's going about all in on the LA Rams, eh? So who did uh, did Batch get anybody? No, I don't think he did. He didn't go. He didn't bid for him. But it's um, there you go. He bid it. But yeah, so it's top scorer in the league this week. Portsmouth Pirates bouncing back to one for one and one. The entry, the, the, the Swift is a big part of that, you know. Swift with the thirty six point four five points from Swift. I just don't yeah. see how and Higgins bounce back for him, you know. And and that that's what more like where Higgins will be, you know, as opposed to to what he done in foot in week one. So yeah, a good, a very good week oh, for uh, Portsmouth Pirates. They're the ones to look out for going forward now that they've got a bit of form coming. Definitely, yeah, it's, it's going to be a close one, like you know, like. There was some nice scores, and obviously Jack will be loving his start. Who's, who's Jack got? Oh, Joe. That was for Joe Burrow as well. Yeah, yeah, two, two, no, yep, good start as well. Henry. So who's he got? Yeah, it's Henry. That's uh, Mike Evans. Mike Evans could uh, <coughs> Hunter Henry as well. You know, he's he's getting some catches over there in uh, New England. Well, he's having uh, a game, so. there as well and taking some of them off him. And of course, Davies bounced back from this week with a big week, you know. So it's, uh, yeah. but again, looking at defence, 23 and a half and 19 and a half, that's what makes a big difference, you know. I know. Well, as I said, that's that again when we're doing the draft, the defence. The, the defence gets the defense over the 200 point mark. The, the, the defending player, you pick the right defence and, and it'll get you over the 200 point mark and that gives you a chance of winning. I saw in one of the leagues that somebody got TJ Watt for free. Really? Yeah, but anyway, we'll go on to the Yesnabe division on division two. So that will be my division. Yeah. And I am on? on we may as well go into my game first and I am on full blown panic mode. I have well, you still scored two hundred and twelve points as well. It's a bit unlucky. To the tune of spending four hundred dollars in fab for um for Ford, Hero, Ford, who's now going to be nothing because Hunt's going to be there, and you know, um, and Acres is going to be probably flying in anytime soon, you know. And it's uh, yeah, the regret is spinning, but he will be playing this week and he will come in and, and place a Barclay because obviously I've got Barclay now injured, I've got um, mm-hmm. Montgomery now injured. At least T Higgins bounced back for me a little bit, but yeah, yeah. my back situation is absolutely dire. I've got Montgomery, I've got Barclay. I've got yeah, Dalvin yeah. Cook who's done absolutely nothing, and uh, yeah, I've, got, too. I've got Zeke who's done absolutely nothing, and I've got Cam Akers. Well, at least I've got Cam Akers when he gets a team. If he gets a team, you've got Gibson. Team. He's not really done much either, to be honest. Yeah, Gibson's done absolutely nothing. I as, as well. Like Robinson's game. So yeah, the the one plus that I've got is uh, I went and I picked up Luvu 
out at agency last week and he had another big week with 26 and a half points. And mm-hmm. uh, I think that my defenders are just a wee bit better now. That That's what I've got to kind of hang my hat on because uh, I've got absolutely nothing anywhere else. So, yeah, right. not looking good for me, but I did break the 200 point mark, which was uh, at least something. Between a few, like, could obviously Bedford Bruce Gates beat uh, Duke Muir. He got 205 points against 245. So, yeah. Yeah, there was quite a few that got over 200 and lost this week, but uh, they, they're bottom bears down the bottom, 237 and lost. We're going to get to someone who's got 268 points and lost, so that's going to be a harsh one of the second biggest scorers of the league. But yeah, uh, yeah bottom bears, 237, 92 and lost. That's, and their own two, that is just a sore one, that one. Eh? Yeah, to, yeah, to go oh. on two as well. It's um, right. Had Hearts at 31.97, happy days, ran into Cousins. <laughs> you know, ran into Christian McCaffrey, who, by the way, took every single San Francisco... Yeah, I saw that, 100, 100% of snaps. Like, 100% of the snaps he took. Or ran into Mike Evans, who had a day and a half as well. Ran into Mike Evans, yep, he carried Back the whole... Ran into Kate. Tyler Lockett, who I managed to leave on just about every bench in the history of benches this week. Well done. And James, James Connor, who in the first half did run over the Giants, who did bugger all in the second half, thankfully. Yeah, uh, that's uh, uh, what a game that what a, what a game that was. But yeah, you would have thought that it would have just been hard. You, you know, see, when you got it half time with Connor, you would have been thinking, I'm going to score double that because I'm going to do nothing but hand it off from now on in. I know you, just, well, you thought they should have done, but yeah. Never got yeah, a chance. I'm, I'm, really. I'm not looking forward to Thursday night's game, to be honest, but, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, you weren't looking forward, you weren't looking forward to the second half on Sunday either, were you? But look what happened. No, but that was a bit of a more reasonable time, so. But, but yeah, so, so have we got? We've got four 2 and teams. We've got the Buccaneers, Alaskan Deep Freeze, Alaskan Deep Freeze. Graham. Graham there at the Glasgow Eagles. Yeah. Yeah, the Glasgow Eagles flying the flag for... Uh, but look at that. He's, he's only, well, pretend he's only got 388. It's still a good, but... Okay, below him, 4 3 6 4 one, two, four, one, one. Yeah, he kind of stole well, one. Well, well, he well, well, one this week. He got 200 points, but, you know, 201 points is barely, barely scraping in. And uh, he ran into Sam's Darlington Rams, 162. Brees Hall, Naj Harris, Trevor Lawrence, all scored horrible. Mooney didn't touch the ball. Who managed to get into his flex? Did he, did he even go on the pitch? Uh, I, I, don't, I think he did go on the pitch. I just don't think he touched the ball. But, um, but yeah, yeah, so it's a uh, long way for, for Sam, long, long way for Sam to uh, come back from that one. Uh, there, mm-hmm. An even worse one, Lee Vikings, 147. Peter o. Jackson, he went with Jackson, who didn't touch the ball. Mike Gallup, Rondell Moore. Yeah, that's yeah, I, got, a, I, got, I got stuck with Jackson in a few leagues because I forgot to take him out. So. Long way back, but do you know what? See if you, if you look on the bench, if look on the injured reserve. He's got Williams coming back in week seven, and he's got uh, Taylor if Taylor ever comes back. You know, so yeah, you can understand why they're in a bit of trouble. Lee Vikings at the moment. Yeah, I like the logo as well. So yeah, so that's <laughs> that's Division Two. So yes, two. Oh, here we go. Bucks have picked up Greenlaw, Robert Woods for Alaskan Breeze. You got Ford for a lot of money. Yeah, I went and... You, fun. you have to, though, because the, the bid-in last week was crazy, so... Bumped my load on Ford. So, I mean, it might pay off. It might... It'll, certainly, it should pay off in early days, but, you know, the more hunt... The more the season gets on, the more Hunt's going to get involved. So, who you got this week, then? Well, you're playing Sam. Yeah, well, at least that's... Uh, that, that That's a bonus after Sam's week there, but it's... Uh, well, I mean, Kevin you know, Lawrence is playing Houston, though. Different week, you know, Lawrence, he's got Hall, he's got Harris, you know, all of these guys can bounce back easily, you know. Who are you going to put in your running back then? Because I'm pretty sure Montgomery's no playing. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, it's going to need, well, it'll be Dalvin Cook or it'll be um, Gibson probably. Elliot maybe, you know. It's, uh, I'm hoping that I'm hoping Montgomery might make it still, but even if he does, I'm, I'll probably end up propping him out again. But I'll see what's going on closer to Sunday. No, good. Yeah, it's... Still, still, it's a one of you has got to win. Well, yeah, no, it's uh, at the end of the day, we're both on two, so someone's going to get a season on the go and someone's going to be uh, 
fighting against relegation mm-hmm. or you know trying to get in the highest division possible. And and that's the thing about this. That's the thing about this season and this league. You know, even if you're own six, you still play. You still want to play. You don't want to finish the bottom two. You don't want to be in the bottom division. You know, you want to get yourself mm-hmm. up there. Well, there you go. We've got two two and those against each other. The yeah, that'll be a big against game. the Buccaneers. Yeah, that should be a good game. Yeah, that'll be a good game to look out for next two week. Be game of the week. Oh, two two in those. Graham's actually <laughs> playing against Bourne Villa. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see. So, we'll just see how we'll just see what uh, Graham's really got this week. Then I would think, you know. Yeah, because well, Justin Fields can surely get well. He's playing against Kansas City, but he can. He's got to get better. They've got to let him run the ball. You can't even yeah. throw it. Well, I, they're going to have to let let his legs go because um, they're, they're not getting anything anywhere else. So, uh, yeah, they've got to let his legs go for sure. Cool. There you go. So, on to Division 3, Queen Hill. Let's see how we're getting on. Let's see what we've got here. Let's see what's happening in here. There's only three unbeaten teams here. You've got the Carlton Crew, Backfoot Tigers, and the Whitehall White Tigers. Backfoot and the Whitehall of the, Hall, the, the oh, Stones, Roddy. aren't they? Yeah. Let me just find the league, Johnny. Sorry. I don't know. So there's a close one. Like five points between Seattle Patriots and Preston Hawks. Yeah, that was right, close. Yeah, and it's uh, both, both one and one. So it's, uh, you know, how close Preston Hawk is to 2 and 0 oh in a great start, and how close Seattle Patriots is to 0 and 2 and, and, and fighting for it. You know, it's, uh, it's amazing just the, the swing that you can get. Well, they played Quentin Johnson, which I've done with that in a couple of weeks, 1.95 points. Yeah, but. and it's uh, the Seattle Patriots have got Barkley there, so they've got to do something do something there. Oh, so I'm guessing he probably dropped Johnson, uh, put Johnson in the city of London. So, yeah, that, that's yeah. a... That's, that's a, a move. Sort of yeah, leaving London on the bench. That, that, that's, a, that's a strong move, but it's... Um, you know, well, oh. it's obviously not paid off here and it's cost them the game. So it's, uh, I can see where he's coming from with it. And, you know, leaving Drake London on the bench as it stands right now is not the worst move in the world. But as you can yeah. see, you know, even his bad games, he's going, he's going to score some points. You know, he's, he's well, a touchdown magnet as well. But well, um, yeah, you get the odds like 0. 0.2 points for a first down and all that stuff. So it does, yeah. it's, got, it's got to get thrown the ball. That's the difference. Oh, so here's another close one. You've got Glenn North of Ravens getting off the mark by one and a half, one point three seven points. I yeah, there you go. Really sure and and another one that could could swing again, you know. But he probably would have won if Richardson didn't go off injured. Well, that, that's that's harsh, isn't it? And as you say, you know, but the, you, can, you can't account for that. You know, you can't account for that. And that's uh, oh, Manchester oh, Bees. That's pretty hard on them, you know, with, with, with Richardson going down. Because he was flying. I mean, that was, what, he's 19.44 points and only played, what, a quarter and a half? Yeah, one and a half quarters, yeah. And, and uh, of course, uh, better days are to come for Kelsey, that's for sure. But we might get, I get it's, you know, Leonard was for six points is, is, is hurt him there as well. I know Pickett nearly helped them. It's uh, Kel- yes. Kelsey only get four and nine targets. Then one more catch, he wins the game. One, well, yeah, one more catch. So, that. For the first down and maybe three or five, four or five yards. Yeah, that's. that's I tell you, I mean, if, how uh, close it is. So. If Hunt is out, he's got Howell there to cover, you know, and Howell had a day. I'm actually surprised that Howell only has 25.81 points. I've got to say, I thought he would have had a lot more points than that. I think because you got sacked four times and you had a fumble. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're not going so, to help, obviously. It's, no. um, but yeah, good week. It's good week for North of Ravens. You must have picked up a hunt today, did you? 235, 235 points and losing's harsh. Unlucky Manchester Bees. Yeah, it's a sore one. Obviously, Carlton Crew, the top one, 25, 6, 75. Going 2 0. There we've got the other Bankfoot team going to know as well, the Bankfoot Panthers with Roddy beating yeah. the Edinburgh Thunderbirds, just 163 points. That had to have some injuries. There you go. Surely. Well, Jacobs. See, minus two yards. <laughs> Josh Jacobs. Oh, man. And Pierce, he's been disappointing. They just couldn't. Uh, uh, Jacobs has been very disappointing so far, but I mean, it's one of those where, yeah, minus two yards, just as well. He got 51 through the air, but I mean, he's up against the Buffalo D that don't, again, very good against the, the run. 
How often but, will you see Patrick like, Mahomes being outscored by Kirk Cousins? Yeah, well, it's, to you know, more often than you would think in fantasy. It's Cousins is just a throw mat. It just throws it constantly, is the thing. He had Ford on the bench as well. Ford on the bench, yeah. Well, he's he's got Miles on the bench back, looking good for uh, Carlton, uh, for Bankfoot. Yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly. Um, I mean, lose, losing Chubb is that that is a loss. There's no getting away from it. But having uh, having a handcuff there is is massive. But you know, Swift, I, I just can't get on board with Swift. I just, I still cannot get on board with Swift. I'm, he's going to make me look really dumb this year. Is is the the Swift? Well, well, I just can't get on well, this division, all three have the potential to still be two and all come next week because Bankfoot play the Preston Hawks. Uh, Whitehall Tigers play the Manchester Bees, although Manchester Bees have been scoring well, they've just been bloody unlucky. Yeah, three three hundred nine, nearly four hundred points in own two. Yeah. That's yeah, that, that's pretty harsh. And Carlton Clue play uh, the Kirkwall Chargers to own two. So. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit. You do have to feel sorry for the Manchester Bees. But... Yeah, the Manchester Bees is is, uh, is is a sore one scoring 398 points. I mean, you look at the Edinburgh Thunderbirds, they've got 298, you know. They they, they should be on to, you know. But uh, the Manchester yeah. Bees definitely should not be. But that means that, you know, it's, it's, you're scoring well. It's We're only two weeks in. That's a, that's a dog panic situation. And you've got a chance to give a bloody nose to one of the two nose this week, you know. So you go and you win that game and off, you're right back in the race. Well, I don't know what White House got, because obviously... He is projected to get beat by quite a bit, but I don't know. Yeah, against the Manchester Bees. So it's... Might have to change his team. But, oh, he's, he's got no kicker. Yeah, there you go. See, I, that, that's the thing. People, you, you do that, you, you, you leave, you oh, leave yes. your injuries in to the last minute and stuff as well because you're not sure who you're going to change them with and stuff, you know? Well, he's got a few questionable people, so he will be digging it about near the end. What happened in the agency in here, Johnny? Let's go and have a wee look and see who who, who signed what. So uh, the Juicy Ren oh, went back go. on here. Uh, our Aussie pal SX, he's uh, twenty six dollars on Damien Harris. Jing's nineteen bucks was spent on a kicker. He dropped Carlson for. He dropped Carlson for him too. Yeah, so that's. Well, uh, then, of course, last week it's a pretty rubbish. Oh, SX has also got. Craig Reynolds for 17 bucks. Craig Reynolds, yeah. He's getting the targets as well. He had the second most targets, I think, last week. Roddy's bit on the Roddy's bit on the two touchdown, Tony Jones. I mean, is Jones really going to be a thing? Is Jamal Williams Jamal Williams looks like he's out for a few weeks, I think. They don't know about Kendrick Miller whether he's fit enough to play, so it might have to be Tony Jones. So it's only for one week. So for five yeah, bucks, it's not bad for a week. So CJ Stroud got for a dollar. Yep, and uh, there yeah, goes Strong. Strong. Strong's went a lot of places. Uh, Strong's obviously, you know, with, with, with Brown going down. I think that a lot of people spent a lot of money on Strong, and I think they're really going to be regretting that now that Hunt signed up again. Well, they because you're back to being third string, if not more. Spending yeah. one buck on him's nothing, you know, fair enough. No harm, no foul. But uh, there's been a lot of people who spent a lot of money on him. Yeah, that's a bit of a sore one. But he was, well, I, like, I liked him in New England when he came on, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he'll do, he, he would do fine, but I just don't think he's going to get the touches. No. So we'll go on to Division 4. We've got Mulhead, Division 4. So Division 4, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is what we've got here. So we've got three teams on 2-0. and oh. We have Leicester Tigers, yeah, Water Orton Warriors and Dublin Everton Blues all sitting on 2-0. Uh, and oh. So good starts for Benjamin Skull. Good start for Bishop. Harrow Harlequin. No, they've got the sec- second highest scoring team. Look at that. It's like 435.064, 435 against... Where's that, that one? Ah, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's good scoring, yeah. And Let's it's... see how they got on. That's week three, got to week two. There you go. So, Sully Hill Sharks did get 203, but they did come up against the Water Art and Warriors, 243. 
3.91. Yeah, that, that's, I get, you know, 223 points and not winning. That's, uh, that's pretty harsh for uh, Harlow. I'll tell you who else got a wee bit of a bloody nose in this one again as well. Who? Oh, no, it's not this one. Sorry. Right. That's Leeds Leopards, Leeds Leopards is the team that beat me in the uh, Rousey Cup coming beat up against the 240 team. Out. Yeah, but 240. Um, good, good scoring. Uh, but Harold, Harold, but there you go. That's got to the, the second highest scoring team in the division and they lost. Uh, so no, the third highest scoring team. The, the highest scoring team is Water Rock and Warriors. But yeah, third highest scoring team in the division. Oh, well, fourth, sorry, pressing Panthers. Huh? But yeah, you don't deserve to lose with 223 points. It's a bit harsh, but I get, you know, Richardson, there you go. There's the, the Richardson. Madison. Yeah. Etienne. Eight points. The Richardson theory. And, I, I, you know, I was, boy goes down, you're in trouble, you know. And, and you can just see, you can see just what a difference it makes, you know. I mean, starting Matt Stafford wouldn't have helped in the, grand, in the grander scheme of things. But, um, but if Richardson had played the whole game, you have to think that he would have scored a lot more. You know, he would have scored a lot more. And it would have made the game very, very close. Yeah. Good scoring yeah, for yeah. Matty Leo, though, in the Leeds Leopards. That's... Um, oh, he had Williams Scott. on the bench. So he picked up Kieran Williams and didn't he play him? Oh, so he... And, and Brian Robinson on the bench. Yeah, well, he played Bijan, so... He got what This is the one we always thought he might put where... Find out if he ever plays the wrong Robinson. Oh, so that's actually, right. oh, there you go. So Brian Robinson outscored Bijan Robinson. I think the I think the idea now is to I think the idea now is to play them both and Kieran oh. Williams. That's that's a heck of a bet. That's, and from what he started, you know, there are better weeks ahead for Harlow Harlequins. That is for sure. So there you go. We got to week two, and Brian Robinson outscored Bijan by five points. Go. It was always going to happen. But uh, uh, Harlow Harlequins lose with 223 points. Wilkes Gold Rush win with 169. That is, um, that, that's, that's going to be hard yeah. to you know. Yeah, Danny Dimes, oh, like, half of it's mostly for the other two players, to be honest. But, yeah. So, yeah, it's, uh, our, our Gary as well. Our Gary, 169 points and a win. Well done, Gary, you jammy git. That's <laughs> no points for Reddick. He's got problems oh. with Jamal Williams sitting in there. I will have much better weeks. Mingo, come on. Played two tight ends, which isn't a bad idea. But yeah, oh, he played, he played six Danny points Dimes over the defense. Home. That is yeah. a massive problem. Six points out of all your, your whole defense. And not yeah. that much on the bench. But he's got that many on the bench and none of them are scoring very well. But apart from Edmonds, but yeah. I mean, all his defenders on the bench. Yeah, yeah. Points, but yeah, no, it's, uh... Patrick Mahomes on the bench, and yeah, it was a right Dimes decision. I know Danny Dimes outscored him. What yeah, I think Gary's got, Gary's got a bit of, I mean, he's one and one, and that's always a good thing, but he's got a bit of work to do there with the defense, and he's got a bit of work to do there with not a whole lot oh, of back up and near and Knights as well. Skill who's, positions. who's near Knights? Is that uh, is that, that Joe? would be Joe? So, yeah. Joe. 7.85 for Chubb. Chubb Chubb's gone, yeah. so Chubb's a problem. Herbert, you know, he'll do what he'll do. Metcalf See, Jones not touching the yeah. ball was never good, but at least his defense kept you know, kind of kept him in the game. And he's got options on the bench, he's got Thielen, Burks, but yeah, and he's got Eckler to come back, of course. So, yeah, two low scoring T. It's always nice when you run into it, when you, when you have a bad week and you run into another one. It's all it's a, it's a sweet win that I always feel. There you go. We yeah. already dropped, Chubb. So, and we enjoy that. Up. Enjoy that, Gary. Enjoy that one. And they, oh, this is the one that they oh. got. We bloody know it's our Sean again. The Newcastle Colts. Owen to. I'm pretty sure he lost no by uh, Midgey's ball here last week. I don't know. Just check. And here we are, another Midgies ball here. Less than oh, five yeah. point loss. No, no, I got, got beat and, by 11 points last week. And he oh, left no. Aaron Jones in the starting lineup. Oh, boy. Oh, no. That's he could have played that. McKinnon in one. He could have played uh, Harrison one. He could have even played Kelly in one. And his cousins on the bench as well. But Ooh. he played none of them. 
and they play it again, Cousins over Purdy. So, yeah, you've got to think better weeks are to come for Sean, but tut, tut, Sean, I hope you're watching. I don't think that Kendrick... start, start sorting yeah. team. Kendricks was out last week too, so you had Kendricks nothing on the board because he got, he got ruled out quite, uh, on Saturday, I think. Oh, so he did, and he's got Kendricks as well. I mean, he's not got another defender on the bench, but there are plenty in agency. So, yeah, yeah what it, 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 it was for the agency to pick him up, but yeah, Sean, that's not a good start. Bad, bad start. Good one for Dublin, Everton Blues, though. Let's not get away from the file. You know, 190 points is a decent return. Yes. But it's not like, obviously, you've got Matty Lee. If you've got Leeds against Harrow, a high-scoring game. Yeah. Moss going, that was unlucky. 199 but before coming up against oppressive Panthers. Yeah, yeah, that was that was unlucky as well. And yeah. of course, the... so you've got you've got a few low scoring matchups here. Obviously, Gary sneaking one, Benjamin for so hundred eighty five still there, but yeah, not as many high scoring matchups in this league as there is in others. But and uh, a three two and O's. This is another league where a three two and O's can go three and O. Or who's playing who then? So uh, oh. Leicester, Leicester Tigers have got Preston Panthers, the one and one Preston Panthers. Dublin Everton Blues have got the one and one Harlequin, Harlo Harlequins. But I do fancy Harlow Harlequins were coming on, you know. And then the Water Orton Warriors have got near night. So, you know, they, they'll, they'll be heavy favourites for that one. Oh, Harlow Harlequins will. No, sorry, Danny, but I think Harlow Harlequins will destroy you this week. Well, it's one that, you know... It, it, as long as you play the right player, but he should... His squad... Yeah, he's got to bring in Williams, he's got to bring in Brian Robinson, you think? And, yeah, uh, yeah right. once he... And, of course, if Richardson doesn't go, Matt, he's got Matty Stafford. And, I, I mean, they're at Cincinnati. Cincinnati haven't been brilliant so far right. in the D, so... Yeah. yeah you play, well, you can't play, play, so, Dublin might get... But, you know... You never know, you might not you get stuck. So. They're 2 0 for a reason. Good chance yeah. to go 3 0. And uh, our, our Sean, Newcastle Colts, oh. they're up against the Leeds, the one on one Leeds Leopard. So um, if he manages that... his team, he should, be, he, he should have a chance. Is Alan Jones going to play? Yeah, I, I think, think Jones, so. there's a chance Jones will be playing. He's, he's still question. He's, he's still questionable, but I do think Jones will be back. I've got to say, I don't think it was that serious. Yeah, but you don't like it when they say there's no timeline. I know, I know, but I also I'm, think that... I'm pretty sure team... I've got him and Eckler in the same league somewhere. It's really annoying. Yeah, yeah, Eckler. I think Eckler's going to be another week or two. A lot of people went for the Marvin Mims. Yeah, how much you spent? But, 199 bucks on the old Marvin Mims. He's only on, like, it's a very low percentage on the pitch. So you've got 24% snaps. Yeah, it's bug boomer it's boss, nice, isn't it? It's absolute boomer yeah. boss. But you will see the pitch more often. Well, I mean, it depends who if, if uh, Sutton and Judy stay fit now that they're both both playing. You know, it's um, it'll, it'll be a boomer bust if they're both in. And there's uh, Tony Jones getting picked up. That's uh, our Joe picking up Tony and Matt Breeder. Tony Jones and Matt Breeder. Yeah, that's um, he, he had to he, he had to go and do something. So yeah, not surprised. My Did biggest surprise is no action oh, from yeah. uh, Newcastle he went, Colts. He went for George Reynolds as well, but missed out. To missed Rob. out. Yeah, just get the right Reynolds. Because <laughs> yeah. I picked up Khalif in a, in a league and thought I was on a winner when he, I thought, oh, two touchdowns. Why have only got one? <laughs> oh, Khalif Raymond. Yeah. I, picked I do like Khalif Raymond, but he's better at baseball because every now and again he'll have a really good game. but yeah, then you're not exactly. see him again for weeks. So, so after that's the East Conference all tied up now. So we'll head on to the West Conference, and we've got we'll Happy Valley. So let's go and see who we're getting on here. So now we have three teams also on two and zero: the Gothenburg Angels and the Darlington Dragons and the Yovo Winners. Yep, and uh, yeah. all all on healthy four points in the four hundreds. And we have uh, three on oh and two then. Three hundred and eighty one, yeah. the, the biggest points there, the, the Guildford Raptors. But uh, yeah, Court Red Army and Team Lemony Fresh work to do. Yeah, so I'm saying, oh, that was a Chris Budge has got to feel unlucky. Two hundred and forty one points to lose. That's the one that I was talking about. Two hundred and forty one points and a loss. That's uh, se- second highest scorer in the division. 
and, and lost. So uh, yeah, yeah, that that's uh, that that's that that's the one. Guildford Raptors as well. To be fair, uh, two hundred and four points and lost. That's you know into the two hundreds and losing. You you yeah, oh yeah, boy, the Chris Budge, yeah, the the Bonnie Rig cheese heads. Well, like yeah, team, like uh, obviously, what what are went up injured? Goddard got some passes early on, and I never saw him again for the rest of the game. He did, yeah. Uh, Tucker missed up. one. <laughs> oh yeah, but it was fifty nine bloody yards. Like, I suppose like him to like a chip shot. Yeah, it's not like Quay Walker missed. and then Rocky Ricky Connors on the bench. Yeah, yeah, and he's got uh, Juju in, and he's got. Feeling on the bench, you know. So yeah, there was there was more points we had there. Laporte on the bench. So yeah, uh, you know, Bonnie Rig, the, the Bonnie Rig Packers, they're they're, sit, they're they're sitting okay, two hundred and forty one points. At least it's not. At least it's not on two. You know, it's one and one, and it's it's a very strong squad. So I, I wouldn't be in any any way panicking. And of course, a great mm. week for the Oval winners with two hundred and sixty one points. That's uh, that and that's one. right having Dylan and, and Pacheco. At the two running back positions, you know, I like this one actually. The Gothenburg Angels, that was a good win. The Gothenburg Angels, 235 yeah. points. Yeah, Herbert yeah, Brian, Robinson. Brian Robinson could be absolutely huge this year because he was going so so late. Matt's more of a he's got to have better weeks, Matson, doesn't he? He's still going to get the volume, they've not got anyone else. Back more, Brown will obviously more. have better weeks as well. Austin's a bit left field, but yeah, there you go. Zach Moss back at, you know, the, the Zach Moss, everyone who's got Zach Moss is now jumping on the train, you know, and it's and why not? He's going to get the carries, but James, it's Zach Moss. I know the Zach one. Well, I, I just can't bring myself to do it. Yes. He, had most, he had most of it on the bench, which. I almost feel dirty when I, when I play Zach Moss and win. It, it's a dirty win, you know. <laughs> yeah, most start on the bench there as well, yeah. So, uh, you had Cooper on the bench, but then Ken Cooper was questionable, which he didn't want to force. Just Cooper in case on he the didn't bench. Play, Mims so. on the bench too. Again, we'll just discuss Mims, boom and bust, you know. So, yeah, it's uh, it's looking good for Gothenburg Angels, sitting at 2-0 and as well. Yeah. Not so much for... Uh, Dickens, Dickens Heath Demons. Dickens Heath Deem, Demons. Still 198 uh, points. I mean, it's still a good score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 198. Sorry, I thought it was 168 there. Uh, yeah, 198. Yeah, sorry. Nothing nothing to uh, lose sleep over there. Ayuk was on and off, wasn't he? Ayuk went off in the end. So He went off injured, came back on for a couple of plays and went back off again. So You know, that's uh, the, the, there's points there to be had. Joshua Kelly, you had to take that swing. If you had Joshua Kelly in your team, you were playing him this week. It was as simple as that. I guess it's a defence to not get a twenty pointer in defence is is hard to catch up with, you know. And he'll get uh, Myers back. Cook should be back soon. Yeah, not not quite ready to pack it in yet. I would say the demons they'll be they'll be bouncing back soon. I'm sure. And the lowest score of the week came up against three. They've got Lemony Fresh, hundred and forty one yeah. points. 141 it, points. That, that, had, that, that deserves a deeper dive, doesn't it? <laughs> well, he had Brees Hall, which obviously nobody expected that. To be honest. No, no. And Jacobs isn't firing yet. I, I think, he, I mean, he's only just back. Let's not forget, he, he didn't do pre-season, so he's no. going to take time. You know, Smith and Jacob will have better games. He did Addison. stick with Tony. He had, a, he had slightly better. At least he caught up five passes. But he did fumble. But yeah, then you've got Moore and Rice in the slot and in, in the flexes, and I've Moose been disappointing this year so far. One catch of two yards. Dobbins is a problem. Obviously, Eckler on the bench. Dobbins, Mitchell will get carries. There's no way CMC keeps taking all of those carries. Otherwise, he'll break, and then it's all Mitchell's backfield. Is Dobbins out for the year, or is it just on IR until? I what think he's it, just on IR. Weeks? I don't think they've officially said out for the year yet, but I think he is out for the year, and I think it's probably a career ender, to be fair. I don't yeah, see him coming back. Look like it. But is it IR, is that like up to eight weeks? Pops four weeks or six weeks? Uh, I think you can be on IR until you're, you're on IR until you're fat. You can be on IR. I mean, when you're seeing there's, there's a limit. I'm pretty sure there's a limit to when you can pick them again. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can, you can't. If they go on IR, they're minimum four weeks, but it can be as long mm. as it's long as it takes, but it's minimum four weeks for IR. 
Oh, there, Nico Collins for Reeve. Yeah, Nico Collins had a massive weekend. You know that. Right. When you've got a rookie quarterback like that and he starts finding you early, he's going to keep coming to you. You know that's very good signs for Nico Collins in my book. It's I think. And then Brian Robinson, thirty-five points. Yeah, zero points for started. Mooney, not so much, but you know Mooney's and he's got Lovu on the bench. <coughs> and he's had yeah. two big weeks, so he'll come in. I'm sure. Although he's got two decent starters there to begin with. But, um, yeah, Hodgson's, Hodgson's will do all right, just fine there over at New York, Johnny, eh? Oh, yeah. Like, he's just one of his favourite targets. So, yeah, he will. I mean... So, yeah, he, he, I mean, he, it's... He spreads about. He doesn't just go in one spot. So, that's what's handy. But so maybe, not, so, maybe not so much on Thursday night. But after that... Yeah. 209 points and uh, one and one. So, not a bad start for Craig Banks Lightning. So who's who's playing Koi Banks, man? You beat you beat in my old house at Koi Banks. You'll be able to see it. Oh, Koi Banks. So actually, so Dreve comes up against Gatch on, uh, on week three. So he's got a chance to stop one of the unbeaten teams. The Gilford Raptors, who have been scoring well, go up against the Darlington Dragons. Yeah, so that's another chance for two of them getting beaten. Yeah. But, but Yearbo again... winners go up against Richmond Reds. So, yep. So, but again, the three two and O's can go three and O. They can do, yeah. And they can all go three and O. So next, we'll head on to Maze How Division Two. See how we get on there. Let's see what's happening on the three teams again on two and O. The Crew Juggernauts are juggernaut their way across the division. The four hundred and seventy-eight points. That's pretty impressive. That's a big score, yep. That's uh, what 240, 240 a week, yep. Good scoring. And obviously, you've got Bogner Regis at part on the fourth there at 452. Yeah, that's uh, that has to be only one and one with 452. And the Burnham Press Pandas got 428. That is a bit of a sick one. So, but, so uh, have, yeah. oh, this is where we've got the, the, the potential trade coming up. Oh, this is the with, potential uh, trade. Port Port the, do you know what the thing is as well, right? I'm, I'm, you know, with, with Pork and he's uh, in the trade, you've got to try something. You're owing two. You've scored 286 points. You're averaging 143 points a week. You've got to try something, you know? And look how much you lost by against an unbeaten team. Seven points. Yeah, so it was a close one. Well, they never took out Eckler. Right, it was a close one last week as well, but you know it's 176 to 169. You know it's it's not it's not massive scoring. Rainy Cardinals done his scoring, and we well he's only on 396, so he's not even average 200 points a week to no, which is fine, you know. No. But it was right. uh, better things after. That. But he started Eckler, Johnny. He started Eckler. I said, well, he could. He's not actually got any running backs on the bench, but he could have put Cook and running back and played a. Or Herbert. They had all his running backs playing, but yeah. That's yeah, all. that's uh, it's it, it's a it's a two no, it's a two no, but Rainy Cardinals, I would say, was maybe got a wee tinge of uh, panic about his running back situation. And uh, of yeah. course Ayuk is going to be <coughs> fit. I know, I, I don't know if he is. And here we go, there's a another close one. Daryl Destroyer, two hundred and twenty points losing out to two hundred and fifty eight. It's a bit of a sore one. Yeah, yeah oh, this, is, this, is big one. this is the big one, 272.48 to 269.17. I mean, that is a harsh loss. That's uh, Bogdan Regis Falcons. So, yeah, Bogdan Regis Falcons, 452 points and one and one. But, yeah, that's a harsh loss. You don't score 269 points in Lewis. That's just... I know. Look at that. Pretty even in the quarterbacks. Pretty even running backs. Montgomery going down Mostert. is the thing, you know, and then um, with Mostert, Mostert, running into Mostert when Montgomery went down, that's hurt big time. I would have thought McLaurin done more than 18.15 as well, do you know that? I know. But he did only, it was that one big catch, wasn't it? And then he did. Yeah. It was Dotson mostly after that, wasn't it? But yeah, Brian Robinson there as well for the 270. I mean, 272 points, of course, that deserves to win. 269 doesn't deserve to lose. That is a bit of a sore one, like. So. And the rest of the league blew either side of leaves. But again, we talk about the Ooh. defense, Johnny, and it's the defense that's won and lost this one as well. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Also, uh, Jimmer had Kirk Cousins on the bench. 
Kirk Ka- Ka- yeah, Kirk Cousins on the bench, yeah. So but you're you're playing Jalen Hurts, can you go? You're you're playing, that, this, is, this is what I talked about uh, during the draft and after the draft, Johnny. This is exactly what I said. You're never not going to play Hurts. Yeah. You're always going to play Hurts over Cousins a hundred percent of the time because Hurts runs as well, and Cousins will have bad weeks. Hurts' bad weeks will be 15, 20 points. Cousins' bad weeks will be five, six points. Yeah. That's why you never play Cousins over Hurts. And but these and games... The really but yeah, like he's like he's got Tank Dell on the bench already. Yeah, I mean, I can I can totally understand leaving Tank Dell on the bench. I can totally understand leaving Kirk Cousins on the bench for uh, Hurts. I just don't understand having Kirk Cousins when you have Hurts. I get having cousins when you're sitting with, you know, if you're sitting with a Watson who's got question marks all over him, if you are sitting with Murray. Oh, he was awful, Watson. If you were sitting, you know, if you're sitting on Jones and you weren't really sure, you know, then, yeah, have a cousins on the bench. But when you've got hearts, you're playing hearts. Anyway, that's, as, as you say, that, that's, what, that's, what's cost them, that's what's cost them the game. The, his his defence scored better. Yep. But, um, yeah, yep. leaving... Cousins on the bench. So we've got the Portland Lumberjacks. Remember, shipped off three players and brought in Pittman. They did. Who's a close one by four points. Is so, Pittman the difference? Is that what's going to make the difference here? So we've got... Um, oh, Pittman got 16 points. So, yeah, you play a bit. You play him over Calvin Ridley. Do you play him over Calvin Ridley? We played him over Calvin Ridley. Oh, no. But, um, oh, no. They both played, so... Pittman's going the other way. This is the, this is the, this is the guy who's given Pittman away. Oh, Berman Giants! She got the three players and did. Yeah, Berman, played Acres. So got. I ben. absolutely no. Oh, Nico Collins, thirty-one points for Nico Collins. Coming so straight that, that that would have made a difference. For, well, uh, I mean, he's got Gabe Davies on the bench there. That would have made a massive difference. He's got Zach well, talk- on the bench. I'm talking about the trade, though, when you had Roshan Johnson, Nico Collins, and Joshua Kelly for Pittman. And yeah. yes, it made a difference. So they would really done because Nico Collins got 31 points, Pittman scored 16. Portland lost good, by four it? points. So there's your. There, there's your. But it didn't help. It didn't help Birmingham Giants, so because obviously Cam Akers was a 10 minute poor kick, I was told you're not playing. Yeah, that was an annoyance. That, that was, that was, was an annoyance because uh, Williams didn't help. So yeah, yeah, that's uh, you can understand why they're making. You can understand why they're making the trade as well. They're, they're trying to fit, fit someone in. They're not picturing Collins going for thirty-one point eight five points. Not every week, no. Jamal uh, yeah. losing Jamal Williams is a problem, though. That you've given given all your backs away, you know. He lost one of his defenders as well to IR Thompson. He's going well, to have so to be shopping. Yeah, so he has. He's going to have to be shopping for a defender because well, Kendrick said he missed last week. He might play this week, but he's always questionable. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, probably need to go shopping for a, a defender there. But yeah, but well, Dylan's complaining, so he got a nice one to go two in all. You can understand why them, Birmingham right? Giants are making trades, so you know at this stage. But if Whitworth educators, they've got to get Bar- get a replacement for Bartley, but they are sitting nice at two and zero. Yeah, well, we're gonna have a look. How did they do in agency? Well, they're pretty busy yeah. here. So yes, Whitworth yes. educators got he got Matt Breeder. He is a Giants fan after all. He <laughs> got him. Fort Belly got Alexander. That's not a bad one actually, and he got. We dropped Bucker. What the hell? Yeah, he's I'd, dropped be, Bucker. I'd be snapping him up in bloody in a heartbeat. Yes, me too. I would be straight in for Buck, Buck, Bucker right now. So, but, yeah. what, do you think, what do you think of Pork's acquisition? Then, obviously, we've got the trade. That's not a bad one because I'm, I'm, I'm sort of. Yeah, no, that's a, that. that's a good backup. I'm not so sure about dropping him right though. I think he's going to have bit, better weeks. But yeah, that that's that's. I, 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 do you know what? We, we we know he's a cowboy, so you know. <laughs> but then he doesn't actually have any defenders. Well, he's got one now, but we know he's a cowboy. So I think that's uh, that that's a heart overhead manoeuvre. That one I'm calling. It's maybe still feeling a bit guilty picking the cowboys to beat the Giants, and you saying <laughs> you're a numpty. <laughs> but, but, um, I'm sure, but yeah. I'm sure you make a comment about it when he wakes up. I'm sure. 
I don't know what division that is. I think we must have missed them. Yeah. But yeah, so that is a close one, though. 272. Yeah, 272, 269. You, you, you can't, you, that, that's, that's a crap that keeps you up at night. That keeps me up at night when I lose ones like that. Let's see what the week three matchups are then. So we've got Crew Juggernauts are going up against the Belfast Bench Warmers. We've got Gloucester Wolfpack against the Darlow Destroyers. Sandback Sunsets against the 0 2 Cabite Porkers. We've got the Portland Lumberjacks. One and one. Oh, that looks a close prediction. One nine seven to one nine seven. To With a chunky, chunky boys making debuts. That will change when the trade goes through. <laughs> yeah, well, through. And you've got the Whitmer Educators two and zero against the Bog the Regis Balkans, one of the higher scoring teams. That be yeah, tough one. The two and zero. Then you've got the Burnham Trust Bandas coming up against the. Birmingham Giants. So let's see if Nico Collins can carry on his 31 pointer. No, let's uh... Well, there you go. Each week I'm being out bed, damn, by Port Belly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so tight. Spend the cash. Spend, spend, spend the fab. You can't take it home with you. <laughs> no, well, that's it. What, what did, what did uh, Doug bid on Puka? Was it $423? dollars just really? to make sure he got him. On Puka? Well, on Puka. I spent about 150 on him last week, didn't I? Well, I put 150 bid on him and I didn't get anywhere near him, but I'm pretty sure Doug went pretty high on him. But then, uh, it's not a bad thing, to be honest. Like, so, good now he's picked up 2 2 Advil as well. He's going all in Rams by the looks of it. So, that's May South Division 2. So, we'll go on to Marwick Head Division 3. So, let's see what's happening in here. So, here we go. <laughs> Ah, I taught him everything he knows, Johnny. Honest, I taught well, him everything he knows. Well, he Loyal, knows more than you know. Riot. Two and oh, two and oh, 439 points so far this but, season. But that's two obviously, and... you got to feel sorry for Sean losing by 118 points. 118 points, like it, it was only projected he got 193 and he got 323. It's uh, you know you you score over two hundred points and you feel a bit hard done to to, lo- to lose. And then you look at three hundred and twenty three points and you think, no, okay, I've been smashed. Those are the you ones come... that keep me up at night, you know. No, that's the one. Well, that's the one you go. You've just what ran into what you do. You've absolutely just. And it, it would ju- it would just be our Sean that would uh, run into that, wouldn't it? It's just All typical right. Sean. But nothing to panic about. And it is zero and two, and I know it's zero and two. But, you know, 376 points isn't a complete disaster. Plymouth 49ers on 0-2 with 400 points. We've got four 0-2s four in this league and four 2 0s So that'll need to get sorted out quickly. The Bonnie Rig Cowboys as well, that old man's Graham, our Graham, 2-0. Yeah. And, and a Team Trade Frenzy, Melbourne Supremacy at 2-0 as well. Some good scoring in this league, but 532 points through uh, through two weeks is absolutely look crazy. At that. You're minus your your points against five hundred and twenty nine point eight nine points. So he's come up against two. Ooh, like, that's unlucky. Like that's like, yeah. Oh, that, yeah. That would be the most against in the in, in all the divisions. I would assume. Oh, okay. So we'll, we'll let's have a look at. Uh, we'll go for Aaron's one then. Let's go and have a wee look Pitch, at. Aaron's you taught him game. everything he knows. I taught him everything he knows. I taught him not not to. I taught him not to have like six quarterbacks in your. Team, but hey ho, he's got three quarterbacks in his team, and they absolutely started the wrong one. So it could have been even more for him, you know. Well, but yeah, he I mean, might... he's sitting comfy. He's got White, he's got McCaffrey, he's got Waddle and Higgins. Well, Waddle's injured, so he might not be playing this week. So yeah, it's, uh, but I mean, he's got what's he got in the bench? He's not got a whole lot on the bench, I mean, really. He's got Jalen Warren, I guess, that can come in. He's got Aaron Jones to come back. Aaron Jones was uh, out for him as well, but Brian Robinson, yeah. Sky Moore. Yeah, that, uh, Waller, you know how big Arnold Waller this year. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's actually looking quite tidy for Aaron, isn't it? Yeah, he's got Jordan Love on the bench. So. Just the Hurricanes at 192, you know, it's said uh, he'll be they, they'll be worried about uh, Watson for sure. They have to be worried about Watson. Oh, he was awful, like. Right? I mean, it, it's not even, it's not even. You, it just you can see it just doesn't seem to have it anymore. It doesn't have the movement. It doesn't have the ability to read the game the way it used to by the looks of it for, for me anyway. First couple no, of he, games. Had, he had players open. He just wouldn't 
go out and then he would it was too late and then he'd run over he had what was it at the end here he had no pressure yeah he ran around in circles and ran into the pressure yeah instead of just standing there waiting for it and fair point i only needed elijah moore to catch one more fucking pass <laughs> to win that game so he could have just fucking thrown that arm but... Locked it to him but um, but yeah, he's got Dak Prescott on the bench, so I'm assuming Watson's going to be sitting, getting, sitting on the bench uh, very very soon. You've got uh, to, you can't stick with him. He's just you know he's got Henry there, he's got Jefferson there, he's got Jefferson and Diggs. How do you get Jefferson and Diggs and Derek Henry? So you, I mean, he took the he took the Joshua Kelly swing, which obviously didn't work, but it was well worth the swing. So I mean, yeah, I think there's definitely better weeks ahead for Chester Hurricanes as well here. Yeah. Uh, we've got obviously old oh, man's 218 come up against uh command at king's only got 143 which is pretty low for standards yeah i mean another <laughs> solid showing from graham you know it's and that's it and that's him back from holiday by the way he was back yesterday so he's back now so he's in the country so he can do it properly the yeah, 143 points that's about half isn't it again didn't have, a, didn't have a kicker no kicker oh. He did, did he not pick a kicker up last week and not play him and just lost? And then oh, he's he got that, went, yeah, he's got a kicker on the bench. He's just and not he, left, he left him on the bench. I'm pretty sure last week he had him. He picked yeah, up he a did, kicker. Yeah, he did. Didn't and didn't put him in. He picked him up, didn't put him in. And he still got a kicker on the bench. So, uh, Come on, Del Roy, get your I'm going to have to look at that one. Where is it? And uh, you've got AJ Brown there. You know, he's going to have better weeks. Madison, Jacobs will have better weeks. Purdy, yeah. Uh, but he's got Gino and Lamar on the bench. Gino and Lamar on the bench, and he started uh, Purdy. <laughs> well, the Purdy's playing against the Giants this week, so I might get a bit better. Beckham's injured, so he'll need to come out. Say Jones. Well, they reckon, that, they reckon Beckham's okay, yeah, so he should be okay to go. I don't see that. I've dropped him everywhere. And I've had him everywhere, and I've literally dropped him everywhere. Conklin to come in, Thielen to come in, Greenlaw on the bench. For, he's, he's got some good defenders, that's for sure. But the, uh, the attacking side doesn't look great, whereas Graham, as solid, solid as ever, you know, two and quarterback, fine. You know, Stevenson, Pollard, both going all, along fine. Addison, Judy's just back. Hollywood, God, Goddard will do fine. He's playing the Zach Moss, he's rolling, he's feeling a dirty Moss one. Lost that. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, things are looking very good for Graham. And he's got Goff on the bench as well to cover any two of uh, Problems. Andy's got Eckler still to come back. Andy's got on the yeah. bench. Thirty-eight point zero five points sitting on the bench. With so he bought, he bought Puka and didn't play him. He and he's got him? Cup sitting on the bench. It's Cup to come back from IR. Although Kamara Kings has got Kamara to come back from there as well. One more week to go. One more week to go, Kings. You've got him back. He got he got Puka for one fifty. So Which adds not the one who was meant to be the champion this year. I, I thought that he was uh, the the was he not the? Well, look at that! Right? Well, he lost Barkley and Chubb in the same game. Same. Yeah, that's quite hot. Like that's a bad week when you and I you can actually. So he's lost the three of them. And I yeah. And the week. Yeah, that's pretty harsh, isn't it? To be fair, better games. He's got. So he's been a bit lucky because he didn't have Kelsey week one. Yeah, and he's lost those three in week two. Yeah, I mean, is Ayuk out this week? I don't know. It's a touch and go, I think. Yeah, it's a bit harsh for the old dad there. That has to be said. Um, and how many Rokers which only had five tackles? How many that got Watson happen? there as well, still to come in. You know, Watson's yeah. not playing. You know, it's uh, did Dotson only get six? Who scored all the Washington points? Brian Robinson. So he did, I right enough. So he had, he had a lot. He had a few catches. He did run. Yeah, yeah. So he did. And Gibson done okay as well, despite. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's not looking good for those uh, Washington receivers if he's going to be spreading that about like that. No, he played for each. He did. He had a great catch. Yeah. Do you, you look. You look at Ads. His team there, and it's not awful. I, he's just got very unlucky. To be fair to him, he's got very unlucky. They will be removing the crown from the head for now, I would say. Good one for Nottingham Rebels, 219. So, how many, is it four teams at two in all? Surely one of them's got to play each other in week three. Oh, yeah, definitely. Has to has to be the so case. Ar- Aaron, Aaron's got a bye, playing against uh, Peterhead Bloody Jets. 
Oh, there yeah, you go. Yeah. Of course, Graham, we get the Jets. Let's Graham, com Graham comes up against the 323.9 week before opponents with Church Warriors, so that would be a tough one to come back for your holiday from. Uh, yeah, good luck, Graham. Yeah, one of one of them's losing, one of them's losing, you know, and I'm pretty confident that I don't know who that is. Well, you never know, but yeah, it's Listen, not looking this good. Game, if anything happens in this game, we've got Commander Which, Kings and Bang on the Sharks. Got a chance to go off the mark. We're go, one of them's going to get off the mark. No, and uh, Aaron's coming up Aaron against the Peterhead Bloody Jets, so he's pretty much got the bye, yeah. I know, poor, poor Mark. Well, well, sure the mark. mark he saw, I suppose if he kept Rogers, surely he's dumped him by now. At least he's got he's got Ford. Mark picked up Ford. Mark was the one that got Ford. To how much did he pay for him? Oh, Rams, so, yeah. Ramstad's got oh Ramstad got Kieran Hunt because Team Trade Fancy didn't have enough. Oof. That's uh, that's a winner winner chicken dinner that. Maybe he had uh, maybe he must have picked up four last week. But yeah, he's got must four been, yeah. here, uh, has marked, so at least he's got a running back to come in. There you go. Aaron's picked up Hunter Henry for thirty five bucks, a pretty big one. Yeah, it's a lot of money for Hunter Henry. It's, again, yeah, but... he'll have weeks, he'll have bad weeks. But uh, yeah. So, and we've oh, got yeah. I am looking forward to this one, though. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a game of the week in this league, for sure. Game of the week. But then everybody uh, watches I'm Game of the Week. Aaron go three, you know. I'm sure you'll hear all about it by text afterwards, I'm sure. Hey, you better believe it. <laughs> okay, so we'll go on to our final division, the Dwarfy Stain. See how we get on here, then. How many two knows we got here? So what we go on to three, three. two and three and three. Alan Sim, go for it. Two and zero. Oh, the Kirkwall Raiders. Kirkwall Raiders two and zero. Oh, four hundred forty-seven points. South Carolina Broncos four hundred sixty-four points. That's a uh, good shooting. And uh, South London Rebels just crawling over the four hundred mark, but it's enough for two and zero, oh, which is uh, got to be ha got to be handy. And uh, Wakefield 49ers are the ones you got to feel sorry for in this one. They've ran into four hundred seventy-two points. That is a sore one, like. Yeah. Alan Zuno back as if he'd never used sleeper until he drafted. So yeah, no, he's uh, he's that that's uh, he's going great guns there, and uh, yes, we have our very own Grote in this league, and our very own Grote has won a game. Hey. he has won a game. Two hundred and eleven points. Yeah, he ran into oh. one hundred and fifty-one, so it was there. Uh, but he did get two hundred and eleven, so that that was good scoring from him. Well, but he's ran time. into what's he ran into. Etienne, Judy, Smith, okay. Herbert, Jefferson. Now, okay, it's a, it's a defence, 13 and a half and six. 32, sure. 32 points for Quay Walkers. Smith. I guess like, Miles Garrett's not going to get 2.5 very often, to be honest. No, no, he'll, he'll get a lot more than that. Oh, Daniel Jones on the bench for 44 points. Again, it's one of those, it's the same situation, Johnny. When are you ever going to play Daniel Jones over Hearts? Against Arizona. Well, but, not the first half. You know, it's uh, just when are you, if you're not going to do it against Arizona, when are you going to do it? Well, I told you that. I was playing him this week. I wasn't going to play him next week because I'm not playing him against the 49ers. So is that not just a waste of a bench spot? He's got Dicker on the bench here too, but at least he's got McPherson in. But uh, yeah, a lot of work it's to do for just... London Eagles. Yeah, and, uh, the Gorgie Vikings, the Gorgie Vikings are on their way. They are. It's a nice, it's a good win, Grody. Yep, well yeah, done. Then, oh, look at that! To fit to two undefeated, well, undefeated teams until this one, two o two point eight nine against two o two point three o. So I'm guessing uh, yes, Daniel, Daniel will be looking for a, a point correction in this one too. Uh, yes, uh, Lancashire Bombers are definitely looking for a point correction or two. This one, this is even closer than yours, isn't it? No, mine's point, point four. Yours point four, point is point it? Right, okay, point four. But yeah, good one for the South Carolina Broncos. But let's go down and have a look at Lancashire Bombers bench and see what could have been done. 
Here we go. Russell Wilson over Brock Purdy. Now that is one that you can swap and change. He's going to lose yeah. sleep. He's going to lose sleep. Yeah, because Wilson wins they the are game. rubbish. Yeah, although in fairness, you've done nothing until that crazy Hail Mary. He's done plenty in the second half as well. Though. You yeah. know, two touchdowns, 36 points. I mean, even Stafford. Yes. Stafford. Stafford. I, would have, I would have played Stafford over Purdy, to be honest, because Stafford, well, you never thought they were going to play that well, but you still thought, unless he stayed alive, he was going to do okay. He's got two two Atwell sitting there as well, and he's played Madison, and he's played Higby, he's where he could have played uh, he could have played Atwell, he could have played Flowers. But, I mean, you can look at both him, sides and say that, you know, part, you know uh, Parsons on the bench. South Carolina Broncos get Parsons on the bench, you know, and he's played Smith instead, yeah. so there's a massive swing, you know. So, I mean, it, it just goes, you know, it's, it's about getting the right players in at the right time. I know. And, uh, South Carolina Broncos only missed out on one. Blanchard Bombers missed out on three, and they lose by 0.59. So, but let's say it's still a good score, and they'll still do well. Ah, absolutely. Listen, it's they're one and one as well. It's not like I mean, it would have been worse if it made them own two. You know, that's that's when you really start to feel it. But one and one, that's nothing. Absolutely. Poor Ross coming up two hundred two point six three. Coming up against Tony Harrison. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, the South London Rebels. Uh, another two hundred so point well. loss. Because obviously he's got Gibbs. Gibbs is going to do more than that. Yes, yeah, thank you. Would on. think. And then the Eagles. You got South six. London Rebels rolled the Kelly dice. But you know, if you had him in your squad, you had to play him. You just had to. But you know, it, it oh, okay, so, no, sector, okay, so that's. You'd hang me in the flex. And uh, Henry in the flex, yeah. And with Kittle and Kittle starting. But yeah, okay, you're never going to not play Kittle. That's, uh, that, he's he's, he's got Eckler, Eckler out injured, so he'll be back. So that'll take over yeah. Kelly. That, that's for he's Kelly, yeah. And he's got Cooper sitting there as well, you know, on the bench. So That's the thing. You had to drop Cooper unless you had somebody to play Monday night. Because he'd cause he done his groin. There's no guarantee he was going. Even like the report that's up on Monday night said that he probably wasn't going to play yeah. And then Bobby plays and scores 20 points. That's that. And uh, I, I don't think, uh, Ross, I don't think Kirk Will Cowboys will be losing much sleep over this because if you look on the bench, he's got sitting there, most of that, he's got sitting there four, oh. who, so he'll be oh. very happy about the Chubb injury. And uh, and he's got Reed sitting there as well. And it just, you know, that's, that's the second week Reed's done something, you know. So he's starting to look like a favourite for... Uh, Love now. We'll need to see what happens when Watson comes back, but I, I think Reed will be involved all season. I think he'll only only get more involved as we go along. I think Ross's big problem is he's got Goff and Howell sitting wasting spots on his bench when he's got Jackson yeah. sitting in the team. But you know that's for another day. And obviously we had a show with the money rival match, Alan Ooh. against Mark Michael. Also, hey, yeah, Michael. And, uh, yeah, so the Blue Coat Texans losing to the Kirkwall Raiders. They did. And obviously look, looking at the start, you're going, how the hell did he lose? <laughs> then you go further down, you go Jefferson. It's a defense wins championships, Johnny. Yeah, Laporta. Defense wins championships. Yeah, Williams. Williams against Robinson. That's a good little matchup. There yeah. You go. T. Edwards and E. Jones. I think Williams is going to be whoever every team that has Williams must be getting quite excited about that now because uh, he seems to be the clear number one there in LA now. Acres is gone; he's not going to be coming back in. You wouldn't imagine now. I mean, you could. Yeah. But then we said that last year. Let's not forget we said that last year. So yeah, because nobody wanted him. Yeah, same this year. Though. But yeah, exactly. It's a, but, it's a good start for Alan, and he had yeah, his cousins on the bench with forty odd points left on the bench for a quarterback. Well, you see, there you go, because he's got Lawrence. Are you going to ever play Cousins over Lawrence? If so, then why are you drafting Lawrence in the sixth round or the fifth round or whenever you have to pick him up? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I just, you know, if you're taking one of the elite quarterbacks, you don't need to. You just pick one up out of agency the week that he's off and you accept that you're probably going to lose. And if you, you know, the guy that you pick up might be Kirk Cousins because he might be sitting in agency if more people were smart enough not to have him sitting on their bench scoring 41 points. Yeah. But then obviously now we've got another close game, two two one five oh three to two one three point six four. 
So yeah, there's been quite a lot of close games. You know, see, last week there wasn't that the, the closest was like five or six points. There wasn't many on the line, you know, and I thought that was kind yeah. of going to be the pattern of the season, but no, this week it's all changed. That's a bit like obviously this week, Bradley did nothing, but Nico Collins did a lot. Yeah. Graham, Olabi. Yeah, this is really bugging me. I lost that your missus and the family. Yes. Because Olabi stepped out of bounds on the seven fucking yard line. But I lost yeah. by six points. That was nice, wasn't it? No, it was if not it, nice. I was sitting watching the buddy thing too. If it, uh, if it makes you feel any better, she was quite chuffed about it. I bet you she bloody was like. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, Manchester Spinners here, uh, it's, it's a tight win. It, it's got them, right, you know, one and one now. And if you look down that team there, Johnny, Pacheco, Sanders, both going to be starting. Yeah, OK, he's got Chubb there, but Chubb's gone now. He's yeah. gained well, will be back. Actually, he's got down there on the bench. He's got Cup to come off, out back from IR. He's got Williams come back from suspension. Looking That's uh, not looking, and it, it's the wide receivers that I really like: Tyler Lockett, Nico Collins, Calvin Ridley, and Chris Olave. That's a squad. Yes. So, what was the free agency murmurs like today? Then, so they were pretty busy today. Josh Reynolds went for a hundred bucks too. Yeah, that's uh, that's. Seven mm, IRs. Oh, he dropped Hassan Riddick. For fifty bucks as well, yeah. be, Breeders going everywhere, isn't he? Well, he's actually, it's not bad, you know. What I mean, even even when Barclay plays, you also get him um, for a couple of touches. He'd be good in a uh, one point per carry league. Yeah, I mean, but, don't get me wrong. It's uh, it's a it's it's a short term move. You know, Bradley's yeah. not dead. You know, Bartley's not gone for weeks on end. Bartley's going to be. Dable's still saying that he might play on Thursday. We know, we all know that's not going to happen. Not a fucking chance. Like, so Wakefield 49ers have picked up Mac Jones and dropped Trey Lance. Probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> quite, quite frankly, the fact that Trey Lance is still in a squad in week two I mean, shocks me I greatly. Nick Tactics have dropped Gerard, Gerard Everett and picked up Desmond Ridder. Yeah. Can't, it was not bad for him. A dollar. And Spin Joe's fight and drop D- Dicker from his uh, team without picking anyone up just yet. But right, he's he picked got... Robert Woods. Um... Oh, so he did, yeah. He's picked up Woods and he's picked up uh, he's picked up Chandler and he's picked up Reynolds. And he's going to need to go and find himself a kicker at some point this week now. I would probably pick back uh, but, again. Yeah, no one's went massive there, but no one's went massive there because the big players were already gone. Ford was already sitting in a team, you know, yeah, there was not. Yeah, there was nothing really there. Reynolds, Ken, that's he's not consistent enough to spend too much money on. To be honest, no, no, they'll, they'll have a week or two. But then it's about it's that. These are the players. That it's all about finding the right week to put them in. And inevitably, it comes through injury and stuff like that. You know, and it's you kind of yeah, I've got to put them in, so I'll play them, and you play them, and he has a and he has a world day. You know. So who have we got next week then? Got South Carolina. Broncos are playing against the Dobo Darlord Diamonds. That's one That's... of the two of those. South London Rebels are taking on the London Eagles. Oh, we've got a Ross against, we've got an Orkney Derby. An Ross Orkney Derby. Players. Kurt Will Cowboys against the Gorgie Vikings. Although, Grotty doesn't live in Orkney anywhere, but he's from Orkney. True, very true. But yeah, oh. that's that's a big one. But I'll tell you what the game of this week's going to be. Those Manchester Spinners against uh, Kirkball Raiders. Kirkball Raiders, yeah, that'll Kirk be a good Ball, one. Duno and uh, Manchester Spinners, yeah, it's one and one, but very, very, very strong squad there as well, you know. And the forward Patriots are looking to get off the mark against the Blue Tooth and Texans. That'll be a close game, I think. Yeah, it should be a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Game in a London derby, South Run, South London Rebels against the London Eagles. Behave, gentlemen. Well, the London Eagles is actually in Canada. Oh, is he? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Canada. Oh well, there you go then. But, no, the, name, the London, the London rep, the London by name derby is one. The London by name derby, and yeah, that like that'd be a close one as well, actually. Yeah, yeah, that would be a close a, one. A two and zero against a one and one. One and one, yeah. And that's uh, that rounds it all up there. That rounds up week two. 
Well done to everyone who got a victory. Uh, congratulations, those who are on 2 0, but you know, don't get too comfortable. Start looking over your shoulder. People are coming for you. And uh, those on 0 2, like myself, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Oh, I can't mind on what Grotty paid for. Uh, what Doug paid for. No, he paid 222 for Nuka. I paid 150, but I didn't get him. So he didn't. Cheap, but I think he, he bet, what some people paid. Well, he paid 157 for Joshua Kelly. And that was a good pick up. 96 for Kieran Williams. That was a nice one. And he got Jordan Brooks for 35. Because remember, he missed out on TG Watt. But he didn't have oh, enough. Oh, that's right. That's right. He paid 128. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the one that you wanted more than the others, I would say. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, he's, he's he's sitting at own two and he's making his moves. Fair play, Douglas. Fair play. Yeah, I'm I'm going to be in trouble this week. I've not got Barclay. Hill's going to be out. It would be rude of me not to mention the fact that he's own two in the home league as well. By the way, <laughs> sorry, Douglas. Yeah, how much how much playing time do you think Kareem Hunt's going to get? On I don't Sunday? think. He, I mean, he's just coming back. At, has he even been training? I don't see. I think this week's going to be Ford's week. I think Hunt. He'll get some touches. He'll get some touches for sure. But um, I don't think he's going to be. I think Ford done enough to say this is my job for now. Well, I can safely say I'll probably be one and two next week when you've got no Barkley, no Hill, probably no maybe. Aaron Jones. No, maybe. Possibly, maybe no Bruce Hall. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> so I'll be playing at a hundred yeah. levels strong. You better Nino hope be these back. boys. Are, you better hope these boys are playing, or you'll be back in the agency. There's not much left in the agency, to be honest. But see that there's your problem. Well, there's your problem for this week. I don't think Hunt being there is a problem for Ford this week. I think Hunt being there is a problem for Strong this week. Yeah. It just depends if Reynolds is going to be play more like he did last week, or if it's going to be Gibbs. You'll need you'll need Montgomery to be out. Well, I think he is out, to be honest. But, it's, yeah. It's, again, he's another one that's just got a cue, and it's not a big, it's not a serious injury. It's you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see him out there. And the problem you have with these ones with Montgomery, with the Montgomery injuries, with it, you know they're hurt. So you don't know if they're going to be on a snap count or not, and then you've got to decide whether to play them or not. You know, I mean, you could you could see Montgomery's playing, not put Reynolds in, and Montgomery's on. You only get six touches. Reynolds gets eight and goes for eighty yards with him and a touchdown. You know, and you're like, Argh! well, go go by if, if Jones is out, Bark is definitely out. I don't think like Jones is out. out. I think Jones will be back. Yeah, but I won't really be on though. That's the thing, is he going to be on a snap count? The the, pro, the the thing you've got there is Dylan did not do well <laughs> last week. No. I know, I've, him, I've got him in one of our leagues. But yeah, it's going to be a... Right, we're get, we're getting run. into now. Well, week, week three, we're into week three now. The season is up and running. We are underway. We are and indeed. It, um, it'll be interesting to see how it, how it all pans out, but I'm looking forward to... To the coming weeks and, and seeing what goes down. I'm sure trades will start going, flowing a little bit more. I know, surely it's just not going to be Maze How doing the trade. Somebody else has got to do one soon as well. Yeah, there'll but be trades the way, about, I'm sure. It's 24 hours from the trades accepted. That's how long it takes to trade. So if you are doing one and you want it for the weekend, you do better it do, it on Friday. do it before Friday. <laughs> just be safe. Please. Well, thank you for the one or two that did watch. And I'll get it cut off at some point and put out when I'm not working. And thank you for coming on, Craig, and I'll see you tomorrow night for the Show Me The Money. Pleasure, Johnny, and we'll see you tomorrow, and uh, good night, everyone. Thank you for watching.